Welcome back to another episode of our online exclusive with the brewing recipe. I have another Ecuador coffee for you this month, and it is called Las Perlitas. This is our last offering from Ecuador this year. We're gonna brew it up today using an AeroPress. Uh, Las Perlitas, it is a wash processed coffee and it represents some of the highest scoring coffees from this exotic region. And Ecuador is home to some really unique coffee varieties that create a really nice cup quality. So I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. And first of all, I wanna get brewing this coffee. So we're gonna brew with the AeroPress as an inverted method. So this means it's gonna be flipped upside down like I have it. So if you've never used an AeroPress before, it's basically a giant coffee syringe uh, is how I would explain it. So we're gonna put coffee in the chamber, add water, and then flip it and plunge it. That's how the AeroPress works. And a little bit of a confession, I. I've had mixed results with the AeroPress. There's so many different recipes and ways you can brew. And I've had mixed results. I haven't really used it a bunch until uh, the last month I was playing around a lot with it, trying to find different recipes that work out really well. And I landed on this recipe. So we're gonna grind 25 grams of coffee at a medium course setting. So on the Brazza Encore, that's setting 17 and on the water, we're gonna use 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I already ground my coffee, so I'm gonna get that in the chamber. You gotta be careful when you pour it in because it's a bit of a narrow opening. You don't wanna pour it down the side. All right, we're gonna quickly add 200 grams of coffee, or of water. And you wanna make sure your plunger is about a half an inch from the bottom so you have a good seal, but if it's pushed up too high, you're not gonna have enough space for the water. All right, and start a timer as you pour the water. I'm gonna quickly grab my spoon after I get up to 200 grams and stir this really well. All right, for 15 seconds, we're gonna stir this. And this is much more than I would ever stir a pour over recipe. Uh, with the AeroPress, this is an immersion brewing method. And you don't risk over extracting it quite as much. And we wanna make sure with a shorter brew time that we're getting everything saturated really well so that it extracts. So as that's going, I want to wet my filter. So it's a little disc filter you put on the cap. Once that's wet, I'm gonna apply that. Now before we flip it, we're gonna press this down until the coffee comes to the top. All right, I'm gonna flip this over my mug and let it sit until a minute and a half. Doing that press um, to get the coffee to come to the top helps with your flip. It makes it less dangerous, less risk of spilling hot water and coffee all over yourself. And it also creates a nice um, even space between the coffee and the top. So we're at a minute and a half, I'm gonna press this down. So what we're doing here is creating a, a strong concentrate of coffee. The TDS of this brew is around 2.5%, so that's very strong. You wouldn't wanna, you could drink this or you could put it over ice, um, that's an option. But what we're gonna do today is dilute it with a little bit of hot water. I came across a lot of AeroPress recipes that favor under extracting the coffee. So they use a really high dose, a small amount of water, a low brute temperature, very coarse grind. And it creates an interesting cup that tastes good, but it leaves behind a lot of coffee that's not extracted. So with this recipe, I wanted to avoid leaving coffee behind because in essence, you're kind of wasting the coffee at that point. So I have my concentrate. I'm gonna put it on my scale, tear out my scale, and I'm gonna add 125 grams of water. And when I measured this, it brought the TDS down to about 1.45 which is a really solid, good, um, everyday drinking brew. And so in a, this is about a 12 ounce cup that made about 10 to 11 ounces of coffee. 
So a little bit stronger, a little bit more coffee in that cup than I would use for a pour over, but I find with the AeroPress, using slightly different ratios really helps. And for this coffee, the Las Perlitas, it really brings out the sweetness of this coffee. And as I mentioned, the varieties in Las Perlitas are unique. So what makes up Las Perlitas? There is Catura, Bourbon, Tipica, and then two others that have made quite the craze uh, coming out of Ecuador. They're really delicious and they are in this blend. They are Tipica Mejorada and Bourbon Cidra. Uh, Bourbon Cidra is actually not Bourbon. It is, it's been tested and it is 100% Ethiopian heirloom coffee. And the Tipica Mejorada is not Tipica. It's actually a cross of Bourbon and Ethiopian heirloom coffees. So in the cup, we get a lot of nice fruitiness and a little bit of floral notes, kind of like reminiscent of a Ethiopian coffee. I also get a lot of reminiscence of like a nice micro lot from Colombia. Um, the notes we're picking up in this Las Perlitas is Concord grape, uh, dragon fruit, tangerine, and panela. There's a really nice kind of backbone of like this sugar and molasses. Panela is like raw sugar, which has molasses in it. So it's got a really nice rich backbone in it. So if you've never brewed with an AeroPress before, or if you're a seasoned veteran, I hope this recipe um, works out well for you and enjoy Las Perlitas. Thanks for watching.